Little Lights has been running for almost four years, on and off, and it's our church toddler group that's hosted above Revive Coffee Shop. On average, we would get about 35 families, but previously, when we had capacity to run two sessions, we had over 50 families. The core team was made up of myself, Lizzie Wayland, Jan Holder, who happens to be my mum, and Helen Bunclark. I first of all just want to commend both Jan and Helen to you, for without these ladies, Little Lights wouldn't have launched in the way it did. Helen has such a beautiful heart for serving, and weekly she commits her time to many ministries in the church. Her skills and gifting for hospitality shone through at Little Lights, where she would weekly serve teas and coffees to all of our parents and just touch base them, making sure that they were okay. Jan Holder was the one that originally casted the vision for Little Lights and she saw the success of how Little Fishes had been and we felt actually it was time to bring what we had for Little Fishes into, into the Beacon, into Revive, building something new called Little Lights. Never did we ever imagine the success of it and I have to say that came with the organisational skills, the ability to cast vision and to build team from Jan Holder that um, has enabled Little Lights to be the success it has been and Jan would faithfully build a curriculum that would make our toddler group very very different from other church toddler groups or even that within the local community. For, for a long time, we had Shore Start Centres saying, can we come and be part of what you're doing at Little Lights? Because you're currently getting more mums to that than we are at the Shore Start Centres, which just shows that God was in it and that actually we were building something that was going to be lasting. In July 2019, both Jan and Helen made the decision to step back from Little Lights and there was total freedom in that because in everything we do, there are seasons and timings and for these ladies, they felt it was the right time to step aside. But God had a plan to provide a new team and from mid-August, we began asking mums in the church to join in the next chapter of Little Lights. We were blown away by the response and from September 2019, we launched Little Lights again with a brand new team. These individuals have been amazing at bringing their enthusiasm, prayers, ideas, creativity and even hosting rhyme times as part of our sessions. Thank you personally to Gina, Holly, Joe, Lisa, Annalise, Tarisha, Carly, Maureen, Betty, Pam and Magnus, for without you, Little Lights would not be possible. Hello, my name's Carly. I am a mum, a Little Lights mum, to uh, two crazy curly-haired little boys that I'm sure you've seen toddling around the Beacon and Revive. I am part of the uh, Beacon Church family and I am also a midwife, which does link in, trust me. Um, I was given the honour of being asked about a year ago, um, I can't believe it's been that long, um, to join the Little Lights team and I was really quite nervous I think trying um, being asked to try and and, and continue such an amazing uh, service and, and group that it is the team that has set it up and made it made it what it is today um, had done such an amazing job and and um, so I was quite you know excited and nervous to be asked to be part of, of continuing that on um, with the new team the team that we have now is really really lovely um, we've had lovely and loads of fun together over the last year we've uh, kept the, the kind of format we still do loads of craft activities rhyme time um, have just have loads of fun together really um, we also have uh, well Lizzie um, linked in with the maternity department actually when she was in having the gorgeous um, Joe and um, we now offer breastfeeding support group so as Carly mentioned, we are now linked in with a breastfeeding support group that has come out of St. Peter's Hospital and their maternity wing there. 
But just to give you a little bit of context, really, and just God's provision again for that, I just want to share a very quick testimony about the journey of how we got to that place. So in December, many of you will know that I had a little baby boy called Joe. And on one of my antenatal appointments, uh, we had one of the community midwives that came and visited to see how things were going. And she just started talking to me about whether I'd been out of the house yet and how things had been. And uh, she said it'd be really good to kind of get involved in maybe some toddler groups. And just of her own accord, and probably very God prompted, she turned around and said, there's a lovely baby toddler group in Chertsey. Um, what's the name of it? Uh, I think it's called Little Street, which actually is the name of a soft play centre over in Byfleet. At that point, I interjected and said, do you mean Little Lights? And she said, oh yes, that's the one, a lovely place, but for a five coffee shop. M- many of our mums are talking about it. And I said, actually, I'm quite involved with that particular toddler group, actually. And I got talking to her about things. Anyway, she talked to me about the concerns regarding um, how they haven't been able to have links recently within the community for supporting breastfeeding. And so I was able to then offer a door and say, hey, come along to us, come and meet our mums, come and support our mums, come be part of what we do. And then Carly in a moment is going to tell us a little bit more about the importance of that and also Lisa later on we'll share some of the testimonies of kind of how that has been such a useful resource as part of Little Lights. The support group is such a valuable resource for the midwives to be able to link in with the local community and the little like mums which they're known at uh, known as at at St Peter's as well. Um, The Breastfeeding support is, is quite a tricky one to, to, to get into the community and get some um, venues and places where um, mums will be and mums will come. Um, the, the, currently, the UK have the one of the worst breastfeeding rates in the world. Um, 80% of women do start breastfeeding and um, they at, at birth. Um, by, by the time they're six months, there's only 1% of babies that are being breastfed. And this is usually cited. This, the reason cited for this is usually the lack of support uh, from from healthcare professionals and from the wider community. So. Um, to be able to provide this to, to this service to women and to babies, it's not only me- helping their mental health, which a lot of people do struggle with when um, they when they don't have the support and they're not able to to uh, breastfeed or they're not comfortable or confident in the way that they're feeding their babies, um, and also the the health implications that that has uh, for the women and for the babies as well. So um, this the service that 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 we're able to provide is is wonderful, and you know throughout lockdown. Leanne who is often the maternity support worker who comes and provides um, that help has has continued to um, make connections have video calls um, and and has even been there when some of the ladies have come in to have their babies if they'd come into Little Lights pregnant or um, and asking for support there so it has been really really lovely and other things that we've done over the year uh, well during lockdown we um, got all the the children and the families involved in doing some lovely artwork for the maternity department um they did i think it was about 60 pictures we ended up with to to decorate the maternity department and they're still up there decorated now the age range was from about two months i think the youngest one was to uh 79 years old so we got a really great age range of family members that were able to contribute to that so that was really great It's been wonderful working with the midwifery team and the breastfeeding team from St Peter's. Uh, in February, one of our little light mums, um, she'd had a baby and uh, she was speaking with Lizzie about how her breastfeeding journey was going and it just it wasn't going very good at that time. She was really struggling and um, she was starting to, it was really starting to affect her, her health, her mental health, just um, she was really starting to feel quite low. Um, as her baby was 28 days old, um, he had been signed off from the um, from the health visitor, so she just felt so alone that she couldn't she couldn't speak to anyone. So um, 
but at Little Light she was able to speak to Leanne, uh, one of the members of the team. And um, speaking with Leanne, um, Leanne confirmed that the baby had a tongue tie, so that was why, you know, the, the um, feeding wasn't going great. Um, so Leanne was able to call up um, the hospital and she was arrange, able to arrange, um, arrange an appointment that day. So the baby, you know, so that feeding could then be sorted. And just the, the weight of liftedness, like that could lift off from that mum, just to the, the relief, you know, that someone has helped her. It's just... Um, it's been it's been so wonderful and if we hadn't had that connection that link then then you know who knows you know might, what might have happened and it's just you know we're so thankful to god that that you know his provision of just opening up doors that we can just have so many wonderful more connections again in march uh, we had another mum come and uh, talk to us uh, she felt that she hadn't been signed off properly from her postnatal checks as she was still struggling with some health issues. So she was able to speak to Leanne and Leanne was able to call up the hospital and arrange a referral um, that same afternoon, which is just wonderful. And the mum was extremely pleased about that. Mm -hmm. Before lockdown started, we, um, we had another mum come to us and she was very anxious and worried. Um, she had come to Little Lights to learn how to harvest colostrum milk. And through that meeting, she was able to meet us, the Little Lights team, and, and Leanne. Um, and then during lockdown, she had her baby, and Leanne was there, um, and she was able to support her through her anxiety at that time, and, um, and support her afterwards with, with feeding. And it was just wonderful, um, you know, that, that that was able to happen. Uh, afterwards, uh, she had messaged us just to say thank you for the support and making her feel so welcome. And we were just able to reply and say, you know, we are going to continue to pray for you. And she was very, very grateful. And it's just wonderful, um, all of these meetings that we've had. Um, we just love the provision that God is bringing into Little Lights um, to bless our community. While in lockdown, we have started our Little Lights online and that has been a great success. We have been able to continue to meet with our mums and make future links and we've had some new mums find us since we've started our online videos. Um, it's been great to be part of the Little Lights team. We have been able to come together and just share out our responsibilities like we did when um, when Lizzie went to go have Joe back in December um, and then through into January we continued to continue to meet and uh, we were able to still, you know share out our crafts and um, and the wonderful Gina she was able to lead us so well in our um, in our uh, in our rhyme time. And, um, and then, yes, since we've been in lockdown, we've all been sharing out the responsibilities again um, with uh, our different videos. We've had um, someone will make the crafts, someone will do a story. Um, and we've just made lots of little videos um, that we've been able just to share, share with our with our mums and the community out there. 
it's been wonderful to continue to engage with our mums and just to show them that we are still here and you know we will continue to pray with them and or to help them with with anything that they are struggling with um, and for me personally I really struggle with leading or talking in a group of more than two people so to be able to contribute doing videos that's something I feel a lot more comfortable in and it's something that I feel that I can help a little bit more in and um, but yes it's just so wonderful just um, just what God is doing in our little lights and our little lights team at the moment and just excited to see where it goes See you Bye. Soon. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye. 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 Much love and we'll see you soon.